First of all, welcome to the Islamic Cultural Center of Fresno. Fresno is a wonderful community that has a long-standing reputation of building ties between religious leaders, civic leaders, law enforcement, educational leaders, and today is a great example of what Fresno is and how Fresnans come together and stand together regardless to what some people might say about one another and about how we should treat each other. This is the example of how you're supposed to treat each other. Standing with my friends of different faiths, Sikh, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, civic leaders, Hindu. educational leaders, Hindus. <laughs> but actually I was supposed to just first introduce uh, our Imam. Many of you, all of you know Imam Kazvini. Imam Sayyid Ali Kazvini is the uh, religious leader of our center here, uh, the hosting center. Uh, he is the previous co-chair of the Interfaith Alliance of Central California. Um, it's in his blood and it's in his ideology deep that interfaith relations is one of, if not the most important thing that we have to focus on to build a better Fresno. So I welcome Imam Kazvini. Gentlemen, uh, good morning and salam alaikum, peace be with you. Uh, special welcome to all faith and civic leaders and a special welcome to uh, state, uh, state superintendent of schools, Mr. Tan Torlikson, for his third visit to the Islamic Cultural Center of Fresno. As you all are aware, Racism and bigotry are on the rise in our nation, impacting many hardworking individuals and communities, including Muslims, Sikhs, and immigrants. Last December, there was a survey done in our area that shows 59 of the local, 59 percent of the local population supports. Donald Trump's statements in which he called for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the U.S. until our country's representatives can figure out what is going on. This is why we are asking our schools and teachers, who we are very thankful for their hard work, to st st step up their efforts to counter big bigotry, racism, intolerance, and demonizing, demonizing of others, demonization of others. Thank you very much. Good morning, my name is Lisa Smithcamp, and I'm the Fresno County District Attorney. I'm honored to be here this morning uh, with all different citizens of uh, Fresno from all different faiths too just simply say that the Fresno County District Attorney's Office is committed to join with local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies and officials to um, put an end to the hate crimes, to put an end to the violence that stems out of the racism and the bigotry that the Imam speaks of. Uh, we are committed to work together with our law enforcement partners. We're committed to the children of this community because that is where we have to start. That is where we have to start educating our children that the racism and the bigotry that may come from generations ahead of them has to stop with them. So I'm honored to be here today um, and, and proud to stand here with these fine gentlemen. I'm Rabbi Rick Weiner of Temple Beth Israel here in Fresno and an active member of the interfaith community. As disturbing as the events are going on around the country with the publicity toward uh, those um, elements of society that are uh, focusing on hatred and division, uh, one of the things that I love about our region and valley is in fact the active interfaith, intercultural gathering. The fact that we uh, are not strangers to this building we're in here today, that so many of us uh, gather here regularly, is a wonderful example of the tapestry that we have here and that we celebrate. Uh, the same goes on in our local schools, especially our public schools, where we have a rich diversity of people. The education is the key to ensuring that the knowledge of each other and each other's ways is, is foremost in our hearts and appreciation for who we have 
And in addition, outside of the formal classroom setting, the opportunities that our youth have on the playgrounds and with each other that we reinforce as community members remind each other that at our heart, people are people. And we in the interfaith community and with our uh, leadership in education and in uh, the, the legislative and, uh, and justice department here in our town remind everyone that, as Martin Luther King said, we should be judged on the content of our character. We do that here and we hope that our model in the Central Valley and in Fresno will go forth to the state around us and to the country showing that good people just love to be with each other and appreciate the differences that we all bring to the table and that enriches our community. Thank you. Uh, we look forward to working with the, the Muslim community. Uh, you know, I'm just so excited to be part of what's going on in our community. You know, I, I love Fresno. I, I love this community, and I, this is a community that I grew up in that was rich in culture, diversity. In fact, if it weren't for that, if it was not for the diversity in this community, I don't think I would be standing where I am today. And it's important that we honor and celebrate each other. So I'm uh, just pleasure to be, to be here today with you. Pastor Chris Breedla, the Community United Church of Christ here in Fresno. And for a pluralistic society to flourish, we have to have values of inclusivity. And the gathering today in this uh, sacred space is an example of interfaith collaboration. And it's key for California, it's key for Fresno. Fresno, in many ways, represents the great diversity of California. In Fresno, there is roughly, depending on how you count, about 40 different religions in Fresno. And with 40 different religions in Fresno, um, that reflects, that correlates with great cultural diversity. And cultural diversity makes this, co uh, this country, this, this, uh, this city, rich. And we flourish when we honor one another, when we dignify and, and respect one another. Uh, just to uh, speak to with what uh, Imam was saying just earlier ago, we, we are in a time, a period of time, where we have great animosity in our national politics. We have uh, xenophobic, misogynistic uh, rhetoric that is divisive and that is hurtful and it leads to not violence. And so therefore it's extremely important that we stand together as persons of faith, uh, representing great faith diversity, that we counter xenophobia with love, that we counter misogynistic values with inclusivity, that we stand together in solidarity uh, for our, our children, our, our citizens depend on that. Thank you. I am uh, Dr. Sue Kapoor, a professor emeritus from Fresno State. Have been in this community for the last 50 years, almost half a century. Uh, Islamic Center is my second home. I come here very often. Thank you very much for the lovely welcome that always we receive from Imam and Reza, who is there. Uh, taking over the leadership, providing the leadership in this community. Islamic Cultural Center is a role model in building peace in the community. We recently <coughs> recognized the contribution of the Islamic Center at Martin Luther King Unity Committee, which I happen to be the, one of the founding members for the last 33 years. I have been working uh, on the Martin Luther King Unity Committee since it was established. I have been also the founder of, uh, co-founder of the Interfaith Alliance of Central California, Center for Nonviolence, and also currently the chair of the Human Rights Coalition of the Central Valley here. It's no doubt a privilege and honor to be here on the stage of the Islamic Cultural Center. What an honor it could be for all of us to be very honest to be invited and getting this warm welcome. So I wanted to tell the superintendent that this is a very shining role model. If at all you have to find somewhere, this is the place you can find how to build peace in the community, how to deal with hatred, how to deal with intolerance actually. This is the place to learn the lessons of peace, love, and working together. 
So recently when we had Dr. Martin Luther King celebration in Fresno, I certainly was asked to devise some kind of a slogans for the community celebration. And we had, because we had recently witnessed some hate with, uh, violence actually in our community. Some members of our Sikh community have been attacked. So we actually gave a very special designation actually for the celebration, in the celebration, to actually address the issues of hate violence. And here we have come up with some of those slogans actually. We are united against violence. We are united for peace. And of course I could not, it is important because we see the lot of uh, press here. Areza, could you come here please? And Imam, if you could. And Darius, where is Darius? Yeah, could you come here please? I want you to hold this one from this side. Yeah. And keep it, come on over here again. On this side. And keep it up. Right here. No one to cover the faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that the press know we are united against racism and prejudice. We are united against intolerance. And here on this side we have we are united for beloved community, which was the favorite slogan of Dr. Martin Luther King, and we are united for nonviolence. This is what we have been promoting in this community, and we will continue doing that with the help of all these beloved leaders that we have in this, we are lucky and blessed that we have in this community a group of people who are dedicated, who are devoted, spending every minute of their time in promoting and building peace in this community. So, Mr. Superintendent, you may like to take this message throughout California and anywhere else that this is the place from where peace is spread. We spread peace and against, no, against violence and hatred, actually. I have a special pledge also against hate, which I have shared with the superintendent, which I promote in schools and everywhere. It's a pledge against hate like that over there. So we are blessed that we have such a group of people who are working together to promote peace in this community, bringing people together. And you know, I cannot do all the things by myself, but when we are together, we can move mountains, actually. Thank you very much. Good morning. I'm Reed Singh Virk from Sikh Council of Central California and member of Interfaith Alliance Fresno. Uh, first of all, I thank the organizers, particularly Imam Raswini and Reza, for inviting us and giving us a chance to talk about what is happening around and I also profusely thank the community here, the whole of the, the Fresno community and around Human Rights Coalition and all those people who have helped us to bring out the, uh, the identity we have, which, which was uh, recently uh, attacked or some people didn't like it because it's only the sick people who either wear the hair and tie a small hang, uh, handkerchief on the top or a turban like wearing, I am wearing it. So some people don't like it. And not only here, but some other places in the plains also, uh, the Sikhs have been target of hate. And uh, we are really very, very thankful to all those people who have helped us and uh, organized programs and functions to bring out the identity of the six and uh, uh, again they stood against uh, hate and with us. Sikh religion is the one religion which teaches the equality of all humans and freedom of all humans. They, all people, everybody who is born here on this mother earth has the right to live, right to so many other things. That is what the Sikh religion uh, uh, thinks about it and uh, preaches from the very beginning, from the first master to the tenth master. Rather, the ninth master laid down his uh, life for the freedom of faith, what way you want to pray or what way you want to live. So, 
that is why the Sikhs have always fighting for the rights of the people and freedom of the people, equality of man, and also uh, the one institution in the Sikh religion is uh, what is called Langar, the community kitchen. We arrange a community kitchen every Friday, Saturday, Sunday weekend that is free for everybody. Anybody can come and they can eat, all the hungry people. And the Sikh community in Fresno here has been arranging for the last about uh, 30 years uh, on the, in the month of November. They have been donating money to Pavarolo House or some other people who, are, who don't have clothes, who cannot eat. Uh, this year, we donated about $25,000. So, but still, this is what we feel. Uh, though Human Rights Coalition held a particular function on the Human Rights Day against bullying, and that was very successful, the, all the school districts, the superintendent of schools, they have been always cooperating with, uh, with us and they are, uh, they are always helping us but still there are incidents happening and uh, you have seen that uh, next day to the Christmas and on the uh, New Year day two people were attacked and one of them had died. They stood with us but still recently we had uh, uh, Sara from Department of Justice uh, conflict resolution she was here with us she visited the islamic center as well as she visited us the sick people she talked to us and she tried to devise the ways and means how we can reach the people but uh, then still a lot has to be done we want the cooperation of the community if they can help us uh, there are many ways she suggested that we should uh, approach the president of the fresno state university and the college and the school districts again so that we can do more about bringing out the identity of the sick people. So we hope that uh, though the community has done a lot for us, they have stood with us and they helped us, we want that community should again stand with us and help us so that we can also enjoy the fruits of labor in this country, this country, America, is a garden of different flowers like so many other countries like India we have all the communities over there this has more diversity in here we should be able to digest that and we should be able to uphold the diversity so that everybody has the right to live in this country thank you very much I'm Dr. Nigin Tadli Dari. I'm a professor at Fresno State it's an honor for me to be here among many community and clergy leaders who are advocates for education and cultural diversity. I always teach my students that if you would like to have a peaceful world, you should remind yourself of this quote from a very powerful, inspirational poet of the 13th century who comes from my origin, Iran, who says, Muslim, Jew, Christian, river, stone, has a secret way of being with the mystery, unique and not to be judged. Let's also take the example of Malala Yousafzai, this inspirational brave girl who has been a victim of a hate crime, who says, with guns, you can kill terrorists. With education, you can kill terrorism. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Darius Semi, and now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, our guest of honor this morning, uh, State Superintendent of Public Education, uh, Tom Furlickson, who oversees the education of 6.2 million students in over 10,000 uh, school districts uh, across California. He began his career as an Antioch City Council member, county supervisor, state senator, and assembly member. Uh, he was a science teacher and cross-country uh, for over 20 years, and I think he's still participating in cross-country. Um, and it's really a pleasure to introduce Tom. Uh, he is our statewide elected official who has reached out to the Fresno community and wanted to be here to talk about tolerance, peace, how to embrace diversity in our education, ed educational complexes, in our interfaith complexes, 
in our religious uh, complexes. It's, it's really a pleasure to be here on the stand, uh, on, on this podium with Tom. And without further delay, Mr. Tom Prolison. Thank you, Darius, and thank you for your leadership. And I'm so glad to be back at the Islamic Cultural Center, a center of life and understanding and love and bringing people together. We've heard, I've heard all the speakers talk about unity. We're together, we're unified, a garden of many flowers, but we are together. And so I'm pleased to be here. And Darius and I have had many uh, deep discussions. He's a very good friend. He brought me to the center uh, maybe two years ago. I came the first time and was so impressed. And I agree that this is a model program. Your Interfaith Alliance of Central California and your other organizations here in Fresno that bring faiths together, bring public leaders together in law enforcement and in education. Uh, you have an enormous contribution that you are making. And I appreciate that. It's so good to see the district attorney here, Lisa, and my friend Jim Yavino, who is superintendent for Fresno. So Fresno, uh, you're on my map as a, a center, a place of understanding and uh, fighting bigotry and fighting intolerance. And so I wanted to just share a few observations. Um, something you know, I, I was mentioned I was a coach, and I strongly believe in the team theme, and it's, it's the unity theme. Uh, how do you spell uh, team? It's T-E-A-M, and what's it stand for? Together, everyone achieves more. And so I see that's what you're doing through the Alliance and your other organizations uh, that bring faith together. I am, again, honored to be here. We're promoting, we're about promoting uh, tolerance, but going beyond that, uh, I represent, as was said, a thousand school districts in the state. Our students come with 60 separate language groups. And 60% of our students in California are students of color. So I strongly, as superintendent of schools, I'm leading and saying strongly, I, I denounce any kind of discrimination and intolerance. Schools are such a great place for young people to learn about the incredible diversity in California and in our world. The multi-ethnic California, our diversity here, is truly our strength in California. And I just wanted to mention that uh, back maybe 24, 25 years ago, uh, I was a science teacher, but I also was, cared a lot about history. And I created a course on religions of the world, and we called it 80 Days Around the World. It was a movie at the time. Uh, that, that you got around the world and we, we learned about Buddhism, we learned about Christianity, we learned about the Hebrew faith, the Islamic faith, the Jehovah Witness faith, the Sikh faith, the Mormon faith, uh, Taoism, Hinduism, and even Native American spiritual traditions and values and faith that they have. And what I found in the students, and that's what you find in the classrooms, Jimmy Avino mentioned it, here our teachers are uh, going beyond just tolerance, but how do we respect, how do we uh, understand each other as human beings uh, with, from diverse backgrounds? But my students, I remember, were amazed, and I learned from the, my own course that I was putting together and designing, uh, that we have so much in common. Uh, and so many of the face have very, very similar goals, similar roots. Uh, it opened the eyes of students, uh, it expanded their minds, it's, it satisfies their curiosity. Why does someone dress differently? What are their traditions? What's the history? Uh, what does it mean today? And so I think that's what we're very much about is uh, needing to get that message out uh, more than ever. It is sad that we see violence still, and sometimes in some parts of our country, increasing amounts of violence. Uh, last year, uh, 78 mosques were attacked or uh, defaced in some way. Uh, around the country, 17 of those here in California. And we have statistics that show uh, Muslim individuals, students, uh, Sikh individuals and students, 70% uh, experience some kind of bullying uh, or some kind of taunting about their clothing and how they comport themselves. And this is sad, and this is what we're combating. Uh, so uh, you can see here at the Islamic Center, we have the Muslims here in this, this community, which strong, strong roots in the Central Valley, working hard. They are patriotic Americans. The Sikhs are hardworking, patriotic Americans with deep roots in the Central Valley. 
the oldest Gurdwara, the Sikh house of worship in the United States, was built in Stockton back in 1912. Uh, so Sikh coalition leaders say the largest peach, pistachio, okra, raisin, and, and farms are all owned by Sikh farmers here in this valley. They contribute to our nourishment and our strength <laughs> in many, many different ways. Uh, every American, regardless of race, creed, gender, or sexual orientation has the right to be free of discrimination and fear. So we say we stand so closely with you, all the faiths represented here and those who weren't able to make it today. We stand together as a team to make it clear that ISIS is not Islam. Muslims believe in tolerance, understanding, and patriotism. Groups like ISIS are radical terrorists who wrongfully skew religious teachings for political gain. So I say today and all days, we stand together. Uh, people are people. We stand together as a community, as a team of leaders here in Fresno, and our message should be and will be carried around through the entire state of California. Working together, we are building stronger communities. My department uh, takes civil rights complaints. We take complaints about bullying. We have two offices, the Office of Equal Opportunity, I have a phone number if any of you are interested in that, but we also have an Office of Uniform uh, Complaint so that parents who feel that school districts aren't responding or that bullying is going on and hasn't been addressed properly, they have an avenue to go through my Department of Education for California. And then I will end with this. I think the pledge that Dr. Kapoor uh, disseminates around and shares is a very good pledge. And may I read it, Doctor? Yes, please. The pledge. On my honor, I pledge that hate has no place in my heart, in my spirit. Hate has no place in my home, in my work. Hate has no place in my country. Hate crimes have no place in my future, not in my life. No way. And hate has no place in schools either. <laughs> yes. So this is so important and so serious, I just wanted to say I admire what you're doing here at this cultural center and through the Alliance and we'll carry the message of unity and understanding and love and going beyond just mere tolerance to going to a deeper understanding and respect for each other as human beings. Thank you. Thank you, Tom, for those uh, great words. Um, I think our session, had this, uh, this press conference is coming to an end. I'd just like to add some final words from a personal perspective uh, and a reflection on what all the speakers, especially what uh, our superintendent just uh, reiterated. reiterated. Um, America is the greatest nation on earth because of our values, because of our tolerance, because of our respect for human dignity. We get a chance to practice our religion. We get a chance to dress the way we want. This stage and this podium is a reflection of that. I'm a Muslim immigrant from Iran, but I, but I look at myself as an American first. This is my home, this is my country. And no matter what happens out in the political arena in this, during these difficult times, these values and my feelings towards my country, these United States, will not, will not be impacted or affected. We are immigrants, and this is a nation of immigrants. And I'm proud to be an immigrant, and I'm proud to call the United States my country and my home. Thank you. I ask to offer a short prayer. Um, Almighty God, we thank you for the spirit of a brotherhood, the spirit of peace and fellowship that you bestowed among us. We ask you to empower this bond of a brotherhood and sisterhood among our leaders and, our, uh, and also among our leaders of our nation and every individual, individual in this nation. We thank you again. We ask you to inspire us and lead us by courage, by love, by wisdom, by caring about others and trying to help 